Hey everybody, I thought I would do a quick run through. For those of you who are uh, recording your podcast interviews on Skype on your Mac, a quick run through of everything that you need to check on before you start recording. Um, a lot of times your guest may, maybe they don't do podcast interviews very often. They might not be prepared. Um, they don't know what they should be doing on their end to make sure that you have the cleanest recording and the cleanest uh, interview that you can possibly have. So kind of all the steps along the way. Once you watch this video a few times, you'll get into a habit and it will just kind of be second nature for when you are uh, getting on Skype to do your calls. So here we just have my blank desktop. Obviously, the first thing you need to do is open Skype. The first thing I first thing I do when I open Skype, you should have this call recorder window stay open for you. So once that pops up, you can just kind of leave it to the side. First thing I always do is go to my preferences. Uh, so if you're a fan of shortcuts, you can hold command and hit the comma key to open your preferences, navigate to the audio video tab. And the most important thing, obviously, is your microphone and your headphone settings. Um, for your microphone, if you have a mic, that will be listed under here. Make sure it is selected. Right now, I'm just using my built-in for this tutorial, but if you have the ATR2100 or the blue, you will see that option here. Both ringing and speakers, you want this to be going to your headphones. Again, I have my built-in output selected for right now. If you have uh, a USB mic, it will have a headphone jack on the mic. So for example, again, the Blue Yeti or the ATR, select that for your ringing and your speakers option as well and plug your headphones into the mic itself. If you have an interface like uh, the Focusrite Scarlett, you'll want to select that instead as your microphone and as your speakers. And remember, if you do have an interface, for example, the Focusrite Scarlett um, or any of the Motu devices or any of the Zoom, whatever it is, if they have multiple microphone inputs, Skype will only read input number one. So make sure that your, your mic going into the Focusrite is plugged into input one. Make sure the volume is up um, and make sure you have it selected here. Uh, for what it's worth, this volume slider, this controls what you hear in terms of volume from your guest. So if your guest is too loud or too soft, you can adjust this before you start recording. Try to get it to a level that you're happy with. Um, note that you can't adjust your own mic volume from here. We'll go over that in a second. Um, and if you're having problems with your guest's microphone, if it's way too loud and they can't seem to adjust it, you'll be able to walk them through how to do that here in just just a second. So once this is all set, you can go ahead and close out of this. And we don't really need Skype for right now. Um, a few things, if you're on your Mac, there's a quick way to turn off all your notifications. It's called Do Not Disturb. If you go over here to the, um, the taskbar all the way to the right and click this notification button, you'll have a whole notifications pane. And just turn on Do Not Disturb. That will basically turn off all your notifications right at once. Other things that you want to check for before you actually make the call, uh, for example, Dropbox here. I like to quit Dropbox and quit Google Drive before I start the call, just so nothing's trying to sync in the background. Um, some apps, like I have Flux here, which is actually really handy, but that messes with the color of the screen. So if you're doing video, you want to turn things like that off. Just basically make sure everything's closed. And if you notice here down at the bottom, None of my apps are open with the exception of obviously Skype. So again, make, your, make sure your computer is running as fast as possible. Make sure the notifications are turned off just to ensure higher quality recording. Um, something that I can't show you on here, but you should definitely check, is if you are able to run your computer Ethernet, if you're able to plug hardwired right into your router, that will definitely guarantee a stronger connection. Wi-Fi seems to work fairly well, but eventually, or I should say occasionally, I have heard some drop calls or some, uh, some connection issues with that. So if you're having any issues at all, or if you're in your office at home and you can stay hardwired in, that definitely would be, uh, would be recommended. All right, so we're gonna adjust your microphone volume right now. Uh, and again, for the shortcut friendly people, hold option on your keyboard and click this uh, sound adjust volume, uh, sound button here in the taskbar and you'll have a shortcut to basically you can change your uh, your input and output devices here so that's handy but what we're going to go to is sound preferences and make sure you are looking at the input tab 
And again, you're gonna to wanna to select your microphone, whatever you're using. Now, if your microphone has a volume adjustment on it, most USB mics don't, but if it does, you can adjust the gain on that. Um, but like I said, most don't, and for those, you wanna go here, and then you can adjust the volume slider. See, if I turn this up, it's coming in a lot hotter, and if I turn it down, it's gonna go very quiet and eventually off. So you'll be able to kind of hear yourself while you're getting ready for the recording. You'll be able to see the sound bars um, in Skype. Let me actually show you that. So I will go ahead and do a test call. And I'll record that call so that you can see the input and output signals right here. Now, if it looks like mine are fine, but if you have this cranked all the way up and you see, if you see, sorry, if you see yourself going into the red like it is right now, then that's too loud and you're gonna to wanna to adjust that down. So you should be at your loudest just getting into the yellow. So let me crank this back a bit. So if I talk the, pretty much the loudest I'm going to, you'll be able to get into the yellow here and on your input. And then this is also handy for adjusting your, uh, your guest's microphone as well because you can tell how loud they'll be coming in. Um, so that's the thing to be aware of. And you can always do the Skype test call before you call your guest. This has an easy way to check on that basically before you and if you don't want to waste any time with your guest on the line people seem to be pretty busy these days um, so those are the main things that you want to look for before you hit record obviously once you're on the uh, on the call make sure the ecam window here is recording also note where it saves um, this you don't have to worry about that should be set automatically it saves in your uh, under your finder window under your name Let's see, I am under my username right now. In the movies folder and in saved calls, this is where all of your uh, saved files from the Ecamm app is gonna go. Um, if you're working with us, send those right over. You don't have to do anything additional. If you want to edit yourself or if you want to put this into GarageBand and add more pieces, parts to it, you want to head also to your applications folder Look for the folder called Movie Tools right here and open Split Movie Tracks. If you're editing this on your, uh, by yourself, you want to drag this .movie file into Split Movie Tracks. And this is basically the whole purpose behind Ecamm in the first place is it will take your voice and the guest voice and separate those babies so that you can mix them separately. Uh, and especially for us, that's really necessary in order to get a high quality mix for your episode. So if you're doing it on your own, just make sure you uh, do that at the very end. And I believe that should be everything. Um, when you set your Do Not Disturb, and when you close your background apps, um, you, that would be a good time for you to mention that to your guest. Ask them to do the same thing, just you know, to ensure a high quality recording. Please close all your apps except for Skype. Turn off your notifications, turn your, um, your sound off. Make sure your phone is either on Do Not Disturb or you can just turn it straight off. That way you don't have to worry about it. Um, and ask them again too, if, they, if they're in their office, if they can be hardwired in as opposed to Wi-Fi, it's worth a shot to ask. Um, some people might be finicky, but you might as well at least ask them. And then finally, one thing that I like to, I guarantee, or excuse me, not guarantee, I kind of demand that, uh, that guests do is to wear headphones. Um, you should obviously be wearing headphones as well so you can hear the quality, make sure it's good, but sometimes guests won't be doing that um, and I really kind of recommend that they do. The reason for that being that if, if they're listening to you talk, your voice will be coming through their computer speakers and then feeding back into their microphone, which can cause a lot of unwanted sounds and it can uh, cause feedback at certain points too. So just for the cleanest recording, ask them to wear headphones. If they have a mic, that's even better. And chances are, if they have a mic, they know how to set it up and use it properly. Um, but not everyone does. The minimum requirement is, is headphones. And if they have iPhone earbuds, those have a mic built in. Um, once those plug into Skype, they pretty much activate right away. And those actually sound surprisingly good for just earbuds. So those are options to, uh, to ask your guest about before you start the call. And any other questions or anything that we might have missed, just uh, send us a message and we'll get you taken care of. Thanks.